what what are the potential benefits of increasing uh, cellular glutathione? Yes, yeah, so the, the potential benefits come if that set point has been damaged. So it's too low. The enzyme, the regulatory enzyme, uh, has become dysfunctional. The levels, the standard levels in the cells are too low, low to protect against uh, oxidative stress or the free radicals. Uh, then you can elevate the glutathione levels to something that's going to be able to mop up those free radicals and uh, restrict the damage to the cell. Okay, so to clarify uh, for everyone, oxidative stress, mm. uh, is, is that something that is constant or is it intermittent? What, what exactly is well, oxidative, oxidative stress? stress? So the glutathione's uh, role is central to con controlling it, and, um, oxidative stress. You know, eliminating its um, existence, and so we, the mitochondria are producing free radicals. Toxins are coming in through the cell or through metabolism. Mm -hmm. uh, they need to be mopped up through various me mechanisms that are facilitated by uh, glutathione. If we don't have enough glutathione, then they're not mopped up, uh, and they go about you know, you know causing damage, um, so oxidizing oxi various components in the cell. So o oxidative stress. Uh, is it fair to say that that is a situation inside of the cell where uh, the, um, <clears throat> the creation or the presence of uh, free radicals uh, exceeds that cell's ability to manage it with its available resources? That's right, resources? there's insufficient, insufficient glutathione. Uh, and antioxidant capacity in general to, to mop up these free radicals. Now these free radicals are produced in the mitochondria. So they're the organelles within each cell that are responsible for generating the energy right. uh, that the, the cell needs to conduct its metabolic functions and whatever. So, so the glutathione that's produced in the, um, in the cell, in the cytoplasm or cytosol of mm -hmm. the cell, is then transported into the mitochondria where it mops up the free radicals. So the mitochondria themselves uh, are creating free radicals, but yes. they don't create the glutathione. No, they don't. They uh, create this. Uh, they they create oxidative stress that then has to be managed by the glutathione. Yes, and, and, and it's a it's a big problem if there's uh, uh, not enough glutathione there to mop up the free radicals generated in the mitochondria, then you can cause damage to the mitochondria. Uh, and uh, if you do that, then you might end up with mitochondrial disease. Who knows? Um, but uh, So on the one hand, we want our mitochondria to be more efficient and produce more energy. But on the other hand, uh, if we are not in a, a situation where we have enough glutathione, uh, that may not be productive. No, no.